Welcome back to Tiny Aram Hangar. This is Mike. I'm coming at you with another video. This time I want to talk to you about Toy Fair 2019. And I was waiting to do this video because I was waiting on some of my, my predictions to come true. And I have not seen them yet in the form of the next HasLab. But I've seen some other predictions come true. And uh, I've kind of been busy working on a PAL Toy Death Star, uh, which is going to come up in future videos. But I want to talk about all these reveals and I've been watching coverage and looking at all the stuff that's coming in and I'm gonna share with you the things that I like and I think you'll like so uh, been a pretty good year actually and uh, there's more to come in two more days of the toy fair and I'm hoping the next Haslab gets revealed in the next two days this is Ecto one's Ectotron in the transformer and it turns into this thing which I don't know what they were going for uh, was that supposed to be a Ghostbuster? I don't know, but it's pretty cool. I like it, and I, I they nailed, they nailed this, so it's awesome. Moving into this Abomination, this is a remake of an Abomination, so it's a an Abomination homage. I don't know. I have the same the Abomination of the G G one. What do you call original movie stuff? G one movie stuff in the upstairs. It's an abomination. This is just going to be a remake of that. Um, I don't want to get into that. So, anyway, I don't know if you ever have dealt with the Transformers Cyberverse stuff. But here it is. And uh, this Alpha Trion actually looks pretty good. I'm not going to lie to you. I like this Alpha Trion. I'm picking it up. This will be my first Cyber cyberverse figure i think cyberverse line was made for kids that were like six months old to two and a half years if you're two and three quarters years old you're too old for this if you're um five years old you you stay away from it but um i think this was in response to the fact that the dark of the moon figures were so complex that even um people with master's degrees in engineering couldn't transform them so uh that's why they started coming up with that line but anyway this uh, reveal here, this isn't really so much of a reveal, but uh, the Tetra Jets, I think the Tetra Jets look good. And in the classic line, the Chug line, uh, I thought that the Seekers really were probably the best, most G1-ish thing that they made. This is a little bit closer to G1 in robot mode, but not in the Tetra Jet mode. And I have another video coming out on why they don't give us full G1. There is a specific reason Hasbro won't give us G1, but I'm going to cover that in another video because it's going to take a little bit longer than a uh, 30-second blurb here. But next on the Cyberverse line, uh, I do like what they did with the Sharkticon. This is just the deluxe. They KO oversized. Hasbro KO oversized their own stuff because I guess they've gotten used to KO oversizing their own stuff. Uh, other people do it, so why, let's do ourselves. And charge you a little bit more and make some more money off of it. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to get into a little bit. I Since I've ordered uh, the MP44, I've been playing around with Amazon Japan. And I've got a ton of the... I don't say ton. A handful of the uh, Masterpiece Beast Wars coming into review for Dirt Sheet from Amazon Japan. We're talking like 50 bucks a figure. Uh, I could get with that. Not the 100, 320 this guy carries. And when he drops to a reasonable price under 100, maybe I'll pick him up. But I did also pick up a, um, a batch of G1, or I don't know what you call first run Beast Wars. B1s, maybe? Uh, but I'll review the Beast Wars when it comes in. And I've, I've got an interesting take on Beast Wars, probably different than anybody else in the whole world. So. Um, Looking at the Masterpiece Bumblebee, now this guy here requires his own video, because, uh, and, and why is Masterpiece at Toy Fair? Masterpiece wasn't at Toy Fair every other year. I think they might have had two pieces last year, only because they were Toys R Us exclusives. Toys R Us doesn't exist anymore. No place is carrying this as an exclusive that we know of. Why is every Masterpiece coming out at Toy Fair? Makes no sense. But it, I guess it makes dollars. So uh, anyway, uh, I don't. There's a little 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 clip here of uh, of the the 
Prowl, that is a... Uh, I didn't get all that in there. Prowl, here's my take on the Takara uh, Plus figures. I'm not buying any of them. If you didn't make it right in the first place, uh, I'll just get some decals to fix it. I mean, I, I don't really care. Here's the... Nah, the... This thing's going to be pretty cool. This is probably the best Cyber first figure so I'll get this and Alpha Trion um, that they've made. Cyberverse is kind of trying to get away from just the six month old to the two and a half year old market but uh, trying to get into the people that are you know maybe six years old or ten years old or something but I'll buy it anyway at 40 who cares. Next thing is you know I've been very vocal about my disappointment in Siege Line and the Tetra Jets are cool not exactly what I want uh, Soundwave is one of my favorite characters, and they kind of like pull on my heartstrings there with Soundwave. But the tapes are going to be too small. He is going to be too small. He'll probably be smaller than actual G1. But I guess if you look at it in scale, I've spent 30 bucks on this guy, 50 bucks on this guy with a bunch of junk that's attached to him. Um, 50 bucks on a guy that stands six, six and a quarter inches tall. Okay, I guess, and then 30 bucks on this guy that stands 5 inches and 5.9 inches tall. Okay, I mean, that's great. But he looks good. He doesn't transform into anything at all. What he transforms into is just uh, rubbish. But I'm excited about him, so there he is. And then there's this whole, uh, there's this mess. This picture is been all over the place. This picture's a mess. But... I'm gonna start at the bottom here. You've got, <laughs> you've got the tapes that are transformed. Uh, they're gonna be getting those. No price announcement. These guys here. Oh, by the way, I picked him up today. Uh, Gears and then the uh, Warpath at Walmart. I bought them out. Not even in Walmart system yet. So it was a hassle to check out. By the way, BTW. And then you've got some other siege nonsense that like repaints. I call it nonsense because of repaints. And then uh, you've got a picture of Soundwave, uh, Walmart Soundwave. But I don't like that there's no styrofoam. If it originally came with styrofoam, it needs styrofoam. What on earth? So I got a plastic backing. Okay, so I have my G1 one with styrofoam. But I'm going to buy this because just because... I can't explain it. I may have 15 of these guys already that are G1, but I'll buy it anyway. And then down here, they're advertising the whole Optimus Prime. And man, I'm going to tell you that I've heard, what, maybe 150 people reply back to me that they will not buy this. But in my whole entire state is sold out. Um, that's weird. The, the $50 Optimus Prime no trailer sold out in my entire state. So uh, crazy stuff going on there. So, uh, next thing we're going to talk about is Jetfire. I like Jetfire. This dude is cool. Uh, he looks good. Uh, you know, I said in my, my, my reveals video, this guy's going to look like the uh, Fans Toys version. Um, he's got a lot more detailing. I'm not a fan of that extra hyper detailing. I think that they should look good no matter what, you know, I mean, just smooth, cartoonish, but whatever. But God, look, that guy looks good. They nailed this. And when Wee Jang or Black Mamba oversized this, so I I'm going to buy this, but I'll buy that one too. And then my Kronos will go back in his box and my fans toys will go unbought. Because instead of buying fans toys, I'll have two versions of this and another 20 bucks in my pocket, but. That looks good. Now this kibble, you don't have to have it. If you look at this and go, oh, the kibble sucks. You don't have to have it. You don't have to put all the extra um, stuff on the back. Those little flame things. But the, the face looks good. I mean, this is Skyfire. I mean, I'm a Jetfire fan. I might have 12 to 15 Jetfires plus three boxed ones. And I mean, I, 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 who knows? But uh, I am a fan of this. Now, the faction symbol flips around, and this is guy here showing you how to do it, whatever his name is, I don't know. 
But yeah, there we go with Jetfire. Let's move on to Omega Supreme and all his greatness. Now, Omega Supreme is probably the biggest reveal. I thought the biggest reveal was going to be next HasLab is going to be Unicron. It's not happening though. So, let's just live in reality and stop playing in fantasy, which is what I kind of do every day in my life. Just live in a fantasy world thinking that Unicron's coming as the next HasLab. We haven't even seen uh, the bar show up on my porch yet, so I guess uh, we don't know if HasLab really exists. Don't be a conspiracy theorist. Let's move on. This guy looks good. Um, if you have any of the other three uh, like third parties, this will not replace your third party. But if you never sprung for a DX9 or a Weijang or a Fans Toys, at your last option, <laughs> then this would fit the scale and it worked. 160, but I paid 235 for my DX9, and my DX9 looks excruciatingly hyper G1 perfection. This is G1 close, not G1 perfection. And if I never had my DX9, I would be like salivating over this thing. But I have my DX9, and so I'm wondering, shall I even pick this up? And the answer, of, of course, of course I'm going to get it. I mean, who doesn't get the Hasbro mainline stuff? That's good. I'm uh, picking and choosing on Siege, but this thing's here. Um, the clear hands make you think it might light up. Like, why would they transparent hand thing this? I don't know. But if it doesn't light up, well, I actually have a whole video coming of uh, electronics from Zeta. I mean, if you already have Superion, you know all the phrases they say and all that stuff in the Zeta Superion. But um, that's coming up too. But I think that should be back in the Hasbro line on their Titan figures. I mean, they did it with uh, Metroplex, Fort Max, and then they stopped. Uh, they need that back. That's that extra dollar forty-eight that they put into the manufacturing process should get back in there. I mean, for the hundred and sixty dollar price point. So enough about uh, this guy. Let's talk about. I think the big transformer showstopper was uh, the Springer, and I have the other Springer, and I think it looks good. Uh, they don't really reveal a car mode in this thing here, but Springer looks good. Uh, not great, and will not rival any of my third-party options, but I already pre-ordered this, and I got a pre-order notification, whatever, so I'm getting this thing in, and I cannot wait to see what it looks like next to my Generations. I think the Generations, I always felt like Generations was a stylistic miss, but a... A win in the build, in the ratchets, and the transformation, and it was just so easy to use. Uh, it was it was a good transformer, but this nails G1. And the fact that I hate the actual G1 figure, it's a piece of junk. This nails it, and so I'm really excited. Now I bashed the Siege line, but I think that they they. Um, Loaded at the end of the better things, so looking looking pretty good on that. And then you know there's a copter coming at you, and there's there he is coming at you. So anyway, like, subscribe, let me know what you think about what's going on with the Toy Fair Transformers, and uh, the Deer Hanger out. <laughs>